Hey, what is up, you all? This is ASJ Gaming Girl here, bringing you back with some more of Yandere Simulator. All right, I seen other YouTubers do this, and I wanted to like torture one of the students and bring their sanity down and make them freaking crazy. And I also heard you can spawn a mind control Saki. You know, the girl with the green hair? Yes, I can uh, mind control her and make her kill people. So I want to try that right quick. All right, let's get this tranquilizer and this syringe. Put that away. All right, I'm ready to torture somebody. Hey, Kakona, can you do me a favor? Um, can you follow me for just one second? I want to show you something. Okay, lead the way. All right, come on, purple hair girl. Let's go. Come in here. There you go. All right, let's close this door. Let's close it. All right. Let's pull. Okay, okay, camera, camera. I'm going to need you. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, I'm ready to attack. I'm ready to freaking attack. I'll put you to sleep, bitch. It's what you get. It's what your ass get. All right. All right, let's drag her. Let's drag her to this suitcase over here. Oh, all right, all right, here we go. All right, y'all, I'm about to torture Kakona. I am so ready for this. All right, now let's freaking end the day and go on ahead to my house. Yandere Chan waits until the clock strikes midnight. Under the cover of darkness, Yandere Chan travels back to school and sneaks inside of the main school building. Yandere Chan returns to the instrument case that carries her unconscious victim. She pushes the case back to her house, pretending to be a young musician returning home from a late night show. Yandere Chan drags the case down to her basement, ties up her victim. Exhausted, Yandere Chan goes to sleep. Oh shit. Hello, Kakona. Are you ready to be tortured? Are you ready to be tortured? Oh man. If you torture your prisoner for one hour, you reduce their sanity by 2.5% and will arrive at school one hour later than usual. Oh man, let's, let's torture her. Let's freaking torture her. Oh shit. Oh shit. I wonder what she did to her. I'm just curious now. All right, you guys, I accomplished my goal of torturing Kakona. As you can see, she is nowhere to be found. This is where she would normally be walking. She's still in my freaking basement. But I my, uh, spawned a mind slave Saki right here. All I need to do is find a weapon and give it to her. And y'all will see what happens next. Okay, let's pick up these pair of scissors and give them to Saki. Hey, Saki. You're nothing? What's wrong? Nothing matters? Well, guess what? Since you feel that way, I'm about to give you some scissors. Oh, kill, kill, kill. Oh, my goodness. Remind me of Overwatch with the Reaper. Die, die, die. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. She killed herself. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to see her kill another student, but she ended up killing herself. Um, okay. All right, let's try this again. Do it. Kill, kill, kill. Go kill a classmate. Don't kill yourself this time. Go kill a classmate. No, no. Don't kill yourself. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She killed herself again. She killed herself again. Are you serious? Okay, you guys. She killed herself again. I don't know how to get her to kill a student. If you guys know how... To get a mind slave Saki to kill a student. Please leave it down in the comments down below. But you guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button. Also subscribe for more gameplays. And I'll see you all in the next gameplay. Peace.